my research group uses computation biology, genomics, and data science to understand carcinogenesis, which is the process of tumor formation. So cancer isn't a single disease. It's a collection of over 300 dis different diseases. And you need to understand how different types of cancer forms in different tissues and organs by these carcinogenic processes, which can promote or uh, enhance tumor formation. We use large data sets, usually sequencing based, but other biomedical data sets as well, generated by our collaborators. And we develop statistical methods, computational uh, algorithms, and data resources to understand how these complex processes come into play. There are different layers involved in gene regulation. It's not a simple process. The most well studied is transcriptional regulation, and this involves transcription factor binding to regulatory elements in DNA. But in addition to this, changes in the epigenome, which are heritable changes that are not part of the DNA sequence, can also play a role in transcriptional regulation. And we are developing methods to integrate some of these complex epigenomic data to understand regulatory processes. In addition to the, um, these linear processes, there are complex 3D and 2D interactions in the genome. And understanding how genome structure and long distance chromatin interactions um, are involved in gene regulation is another uh, key theme in our lab. By developing methods and tools and understanding the networks of information flow, connectivity and interactions between components. We are hoping to uh, identify important components and events in this process and hopefully by understanding these rules and processes more deeply we will be able to design better therapeutics uh, for complex diseases like cancer.